don't know when I can see myself. But can you see me back there? Oh. Phantom TV is back in effect. So check it out. I shot this video a little bit earlier today. Um, the introduction sucked, okay? I was not made to be presented in front of a camera. Some of us are. Some of us are. So I'm gonna shoot this beginning part again. Bam! There you go, a little fancy theatrics. Uh, this is the core video, obliques, abs, a little bit of back. I'm going to be doing these very often. Next one, maybe some push-ups. Next one, maybe some curls uh, with some dumbbells. You know, things that you can do at the house. A lot of people can't get out to uh, the gym. A lot of people don't have time after they get off work. I personally work 12-hour shifts. I don't feel like doing nothing when I get home. Queen presents me with a meal, bang, slam it back, boom, get some sleep, wake up, do it all over again. That's my routine. But when I do have a quick minute, hour, maybe two, where I'm not, you know, chasing my kids, you know, hooking up with the queen, trying to make something happen, uh, you know, I like to just slam out a little something, you know, on the carpet. If I haven't been to the gym, if I haven't had a chance to get to the gym, if I haven't had a chance to get to the gym, I like to jump down on the carpet, knock out a few things. Uh, let's get to it. Here we go. Uh, In-house routines, phase one, we're going to do core, oblique, and back. Get to it. So first, I like to do, uh, sometimes I'm going to turn at an angle so that you can see how I'm functioning here. I got a little, another angle going on on my laptop, and I'll probably throw up some variations in the angles later. But these are uh, a few core exercises I like to do. You can lie flat on the floor, get a mat, you can, you know, get the carpet. If you have hard floor, throw a little yoga pad down or something like that. And these are what I call uh, hammer crunches. I call them hammer crunches because it's like you're hammering your knees. You're gonna be doing this motion. It's not a full crunch because I hurt my back way back in the day. I'm definitely afraid of hurting it again. So this is exactly how we're gonna do these. Start off flat, hands above your head. There are many variations to these hammer crunches. You can pound your thighs, pound your knees. The ultimate goal here is to use the arms and the knees coordinated together to give you a good smooth motion. It's not like a standard sit up. Picking your feet up a little bit adds that lower pressure in the abdominal area. Picking your feet up a little higher like you see here adds a little more pressure. It's more of an advanced version. You can do as many as you can. Uh, four to five sets. Uh, I take them to failure, which means you go until you can't do anymore. Second set, or just another variation on the floor without pulling at your neck, what I call wrist to tip, from your wrist to your tip to the tip of your fingers. You don't have to pull. Just use the motion to sit up. Roughly three of my favorite oblique exercises, again, I uh, try to do things that minimize the impact on the lower back. Uh, I like to do things where I don't have to pull or put my hands on my head because you can strain your neck. I don't know if you can see it in my motion, but right now I have like a pull muscle, maybe a strain muscle in my traps just behind my shoulders here. And what that does is it, it prevents me from moving my head. Let's see. It prevents me from moving my head up roughly in that range. If I want to look further down in this direction, it's kind of painful and it hurts. And neck strains is one of the number one causes where uh, people stop doing crunches or abdominal workouts because they do them wrong. They tend to try to pull themselves up. 
no pulling hip hop. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, you know, um, fairly easy by not putting your hands behind your head. Now, uh, some of the obliques that I like to do. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I think they call this a bridge or some kind of crazy crap. When doing these bridge sessions for your obliques, most people just do a straight bridge and they stand still from the side until they can't hold it anymore. I like to add this little pumping action. It really keeps the muscles engaged. It keeps you aware, more of a mind, muscle connection to exactly what you're doing with regard to the muscles you're supposed to be using, how you're supposed to be using them. See, I keep a nice good height from the floor, try to make sure that my body stays parallel. Your ankles, uh, whatever's comfortable. There's nothing, you know, scientifically advanced about stacking your feet or not stacking your feet. I put my hand on my thigh to try to keep, you know, myself from rolling over and to try to help maintain stability. After I shot this, of course, I noticed I was too close to the camera. What you can't see is that my arm here is more straight out in front of me. I laid it more a little at an angle down just to add the, the higher up your arm is towards your head the easier it is you can see I, I worked it from a higher angle at a 45 roughly to a 90 and down to a lower 45. notice i'm not pulling at my neck or pulling at my ears you'll be able to see it a little easier from this side boom right there and this keeps you from straining your neck it keeps you from pulling and it keeps you from waking up tomorrow morning Feeling like you've been chopped in the head. That is a very rare occurrence. And people are, you know, uh, straight away from doing crunches or sit-ups at home because they have a lot of neck injuries for that purpose. Which is why I tend to do these this way a lot. It really helps. It helps in the uh, form and it helps in your recovery process. Another cool one I like to do. I mean, there's a million things I can go through. We'll just set up for these couples so that I don't have you here uh, till tomorrow watching this video. One more quick thing I like to do for my lower back, uh, what's commonly known as Supermans. A lot of people can't do these. Uh, either they have too much going on in the front, like ladies, they'll smash up the goodies or whatever. Some of the fellas, they smash up their goodies. But me, I'm fairly thin. So what happens is my hips, <laughs> yes, my hips, they dig into, and I do have hips, damn it. They dig into the carpet or the floor uh, when I'm laying down flat on my stomach. Let's see if I can stay back far enough. When I'm laying flat on my stomach. Now this can help with your uh, back, lower back, uh, depends on the variation that you do them in. Uh, middle, your middle of the back, I prefer and often recommend that when you do core, you do back. A lot of people focus a lot of emphasis on their core, very little emphasis on their back. I'm going to do another video later, uh, better yet, make some comments at the end of this one in the comment box. I can't stick it right here. If I could, I would. But you got to wait till the video is over. Stick some stuff in the comment box. Tell me what your problems are with some of the challenges that you're having. And I'll whip out some at-home stuff for you, whether it be squats, dumbbells, shoulders, ch uh, chest, whatever. Today just happened to be abs and back. Back to what I was talking about. I like to do a lot of my lower back workouts that have a contracting and relaxing motion. I'm not real comfortable with holding or the little flutter motions that most people do in the videos or the stuff you see on the fitness uh, rallies. Um, I think you get more of an effect out of this pump, out of this up and down when you're in your lower back, especially if you have lifting or squatting injuries. It keeps the uh, vertebrae moving. It keeps the lower spine active. It gets it hot. It allows you to work nutrients, oxygen, some of the supplements you may be taking into those muscles a lot better. It's like doing a curl. You wouldn't just pick the weight up and hold it. You're actually up and down to get that muscle moving. I think that's the best way to address these things. And as you can see in these different variations, that's what I do. Tell you what, that's gonna probably be it for this one. I went to the gym earlier. So I'm kind of spent, just ate. So my stomach's kind of full. 
And with that, that's gonna be it. So, tell you what. Comment, subscribe, hit your boy with some knowledge, with some info. Let me know what you wanna see, what you want me to do, what you want done, what some of your goals are. I'll go ahead and throw them in an in-house video for you. And if you can commit to these things, bare minimum, four, five times a week, I can guarantee you that you're gonna see something happen from these little small workouts. You don't have to go to Planet Fitness. You don't have to go to the Y. You don't have to go to Balance 24. Whatever's in your town, you absolutely do not have to have a gym membership for results. Does it help? Yes. Do you have to have it as a mandatory? No. Okay? Right here in the house is where we're gonna get it done. Till next time, Phantom TV out. I'll be with you.